All right, so this is uh, part two. Decided to uh, take some video of me getting this PCB valve out. So right in here, this is where the PC valve used to be. This is the cover for it. One over top like this. Little clips hold it on. Hold it right in there. All right, mates up to that. Like I said, I broke a couple of them off over here trying to get it off. You wanna be careful. You definitely don't wanna break this piece. This, again, doesn't matter. So as you can see down here, we've got some crud down in there, build up from the oil and whatnot. I'm gonna wipe as much out of that as we can. Don't want that going inside. But what I wanted to show more than anything, this is the reverse side that I took out. So you see how crusty? Looks a little bit burned and, and hot, got hot from the motor and whatnot. But all the way up top here, you see, got a tear in it. You can see the outer diaphragm and the inner piece of the diaphragm. It's a big old tear right there at the bottom of that, that piece there. So that was our problem. This was torn and it was letting oil get past straight into the intake. Pulling up into the bottom down there, I'm getting that sensor all messed up. This guy right here. So we'll clean this up. I shouldn't say this, I should say this. Clean that all up. Get that dormant one over here. Make sure it's good to go, snap it in. So you're gonna have this piece here. This guy right here. This piece is gonna go on top. And then, uh, where's this spring at? The spring is gonna go in there, just like this. So that'll all clip in there. It'll look just like that with the dormant piece. Might even be a little bit beefier rubber in there, but. At 130,000, like I said before, not too concerned about that. If I got to do this again down the road, I won't be too upset over it. So, hope this fixes your issue, and uh, until next time, thanks.